Hey guys, it's me Pawan Dakal and in this Clickbank full course, you are going to learn each and everything in a step-by-step -step process to make money with Clickbank by promoting Clickbank's product in Microsoft Ads. So actually this was meant to be one of my paid course, but later I decided to give it away for free uh, in my YouTube channel. So I have attached all the video of that paid course and i'm making it completely free so if you are watching this video then do watch this video till the end i've covered each and every single details from creating microsoft ads account to creating uh, clickbank account from creating a uh, click magic account and then integrating that click magic account with clickbank account and then understanding the concept of concept why you will you will get sales and about keyword research method keyword uh, match type tool actually this is the whole thing that i actually use in order to promote clickbank offers so if you are going to learn each and everything that is um, inside this full course then you will surely start to make a good amount of commission in clickbank so do watch this video till the end and one important thing in this video i'll uh, tell you several times that i'll keep there's a bottom below okay that means that that bottom is this one okay but in our youtube there will be no any bottom so you can check the link and that i'm talking about in whenever i say there is a bottom you can click on that to get microsoft ad hundred dollar ad credit link then uh, that link will be in the description of that this youtube video so do check it at there so uh best of luck so you are going to uh, learn each and everything okay you don't need to watch any other video this is a complete full course for clickbank okay so please do do watch this video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel do like this video and if you have further any question then do comment below i'll be more than happy to answer you so now uh, let's get started with this course in this lecture we'll create a microsoft ad account i want you to follow me in a step-by-step -step process in order to create a microsoft ad account where you will get a hundred dollar ad credit once you spend 25 dollar in microsoft ad advertising so firstly click the button that is available below and you'll visit to this interface of microsoft ad and then click on start now Now put your email address here and click on next. So if it says the Microsoft account doesn't exist, enter a different account, then click on create one. Then click on next. And create a password that you can remember. And then click on next. Now click on save at here if this kind of things pop up. And put your first name and last name at here and click on next now you will receive an email with a verification code just go to your email address and copy this code that you have received and paste it at sorry it was 1209 and then you click on next okay so now let's click on next it is saying please solve the puzzle so we know you are not a robot click on next and you can pick the apple so let's click on apple so now again pick the apple let's pick it again pick the apple let's pick it So just tick mark this and say do not show this again and you want to stay sign in so click on yes so now again you need to verify your identity simply click on here and again you have received a code from microsoft ad let's copy it sorry copy it paste this code at here and click on verify so just click on no thanks here so now put uh, your own name at here 
and then put a phone number from where you are let's say i'm from nepal so put your phone number and your business location so you can put your own country so uh, if you have any website you can put it at here if you don't have then uh, no need for now and just click on to promote this business and i click on this also i agree to microsoft as terms and conditions so let's recheck everything so everything seems fine just click on create account so it says you need a website if this happens then what you can do is uh, you can search for a random website flower okay you can do this simply copy this dailyflower.com and put it at here for now and then now uh, everything is fine so double click at here and you can tick mark it and click on create account welcome to uh, microsoft because you advertised with us before you don't qualify for a new customer so microsoft ad account already know that i have already created a account in past so they are not going to uh, give me that coupon okay and if you are totally new you can get ad coupon of hundred dollar but if you have already received in the past then you cannot okay and please don't try to keep on Give, trying to give get this coupon okay otherwise you will be permanently banned from microsoft ad okay and that's fine for me because i have already got that coupon so let's click on continue and then it says so we are not going to create a campaign neither we are going to import from google ads simply click on skip campaign creation now you can fill the address so let's just fill whatever address you have just fill it and then click on save and we cannot verify what you enter okay that is not a problem okay you can simply click on apply okay so now you can either add your billing address right here okay if you want to firstly pay and then run ads on microsoft ad then select prepay if you want to pay later after spending on microsoft ad then you can click on post pay you will need a credit card for this post pay uh, but i would suggest you to go for go with prepay because you want to spend money uh, by adding fund firstly in your account okay in that way you can control your spend add spend so you can select any one of these and uh, just put credit card or debit card here and then put everything details or what you can also do is you can click on skip payment information and you can later add the payment information okay once you do this much then your microsoft ad account is ready but in case if your microsoft ad account gets blocked immediately after you create it then you uh, get a form to fill and please fill that form and appeal and your ad account will be again uh, unblocked for you okay so now we have already created our microsoft ad account and and once you need to uh, once you create the campaign then you can click on add a payment method now and then you can again add your payment method at here but I only, I only have one payment method which I have already added in my another uh, Microsoft ad account. So that's why I'm not going to add it at here. But it is your choice. You can add card, add PayPal, uh, your bank transfer, check, whatever you want to add, you can 
add it okay so it is as simple as this to create a microsoft ad account so this much for this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye so in this lecture we'll create a click magic free trial account and you can click on the button below and visit to this interface of click magic you can get a 14 day free trial of click magic click magic is a tracking tool which will let us know from which source term the sales have came in click bank so that's why it is important to create a click magic account so in order to create a click magic account simply click on try it free and put your name and add name email address at here and you can choose a username in this way and you can put a password that you can remember So once you fill all of this information simply click on create my account so it is a 14 day free trial of click magic simply click on create my account you can simply click on save and which plan you want to try you can try all plan for 14 days for free just pick this plan uh, it is more than enough for you simply click on try it free and now you need to fill the card info at here and then click on start my free trial then your click magic account is uh, made so i'll quickly fill this card info and create an account so once you fill your card info and click on start my free trial then you'll see this kind of interface and click on continue with the starter And then you can select this or you can simply cross it so now your click magic account is ready now you can use it for absolutely free for 14 days then after that it will cost you 37 dollar per month but if you are making consistent revenue from click bank then it is a no problem for you to pay for this click magic okay so this much for this lecture and i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay now in this lecture we'll create a click bank account so to create a click bank account you can see a button below just click on it and you'll visit to clickbank.com and once you visit here simply click on sign up and then select your country put your name Put your phone number and select the appropriate country and then put your email address and make a password that you can remember. So let me just select this one and then simply click on I have read terms and okay sorry sorry. Just click on continue to terms and condition firstly and then click on go to bottom if you want to read it you can read it and click on accept terms and condition and then click on join click bank so just click on no i got this on my own no thanks just send me to my account you can just click on this I don't know what is this you can click on download that and then what you can do is complete my profile click on complete my profile and if you want to put your recovery email you can put it at here a different email than this you can put everything here your city your zip postal code if you don't know what zip post code is then you can find it on Google and you can select your province 
so and i want to sell promote product as an affiliate and my company annual revenue is 0 to 25k whatever you want to select you can just select it so once you fill this all simply click on save okay so your profile is updated now you can simply click on here and click on accounts and you can log in okay and now what you can do is you can see in dashboard create your account nickname so you can simply click on create my account nickname if it is not available at here then you go to accounts or users okay and simply click on create my account nickname and click on create an account account type click on affiliate promote products and put your name whatever so this is the exact term that will be in the end of your affiliate links okay just put that and then click on sign up so now your account is created so now you can simply click on it and visit to clickbank dashboard So you can see here now let's click on expand and click on accept so firstly you need to download it i think and then you can click on accept and then that's gone you can read that what is that i don't know so now this is your clickbank dashboard okay you'll see your earnings at here so now what you need to do is you need to go to account settings and then if you need to edit here something if you want to change the pay name or something like that simply click on edit and you can do it to that changes and now you need to enter your payment information simply click on edit okay and then reduce this threshold to ten dollar so once you earn ten dollar clickbank will pay you and then click on direct deposit okay not in check click on direct deposit and click on weekly okay and select your bank country where are you from okay just select that and bank city and bank name uh, so let's say i am from so it is not here so if you have a pioneer account then you can simply put the global payment service of payment sorry from payneer and you can fill all of this information from payneer okay but if you already have an account on your country and it is showing at here you can simply put that at here so once you fill this uh, all this info just just click on save changes and you are done now once you start to on clickbank will pay you okay so now here we have already did whatever we need to do so now i'll see in next lecture will where we will integrate our click magic and click bank so that we can track our sales so i'll see you next lecture take care have a great day bye bye okay so now in this lecture we'll integrate our click bank with click magic so that we can track our sales in click magic so firstly log into your click mag sorry click bank account you put your id and password here and click on login so now you can see here in accounts go to account and click on your nickname and you'll visit to the clickbank dashboard and it says you must confirm your email address in order for it to fully associate with your clickbank so you can click on send a confirmation email to your email okay just click on it and it will receive a email and just click on this email please verify you have received this message by clicking here just click on that okay so now your email is verified here so now what we can do is now we can go to click magic firstly 
and then click on this icon and then click on settings and then go to clickbank now you need to create a clickbank secret key okay don't complicate this process just in all words should be capital just type uh clickbank one two three four five six seven eight seven okay you can just make this your secret key or you can write your name instead of clickbank okay whatever you want to write just put that anything in capital and just fill so you should not be able to type after the seven whatever you want to write just write and fill this and then click on copy okay and click on update setting or you can just type clickbank one two three four five six seven okay you don't need to complicate anything so once you did this much then you go to your uh, clickbank account and then click on vendor settings and then in my site and then scroll below and then in advanced tools okay just click on edit just follow me in a step by step process okay and click on request access and then make all of these yes and then click on save okay make all of these yes okay just click on save and request api now again scroll below and go to here and click on edit so now here you can see secret key okay just paste the secret key that we have created in click magic this one at here okay and then just go to click magic again and click on uh, learn and click on knowledge base and then type clickbank here okay just type and search and then click on how do i track sales with my affiliate network okay just click on it and then make sure the clickbank is selected at here and then scroll below scroll below ignore everything ignore everything here and here you will see a link this is a unique link in every account it is different okay you just need to copy this link from your account the, i have already showed, showed you the process just follow it and copy this one okay and then go to here and in this first just paste it at here okay and don't do anything just click on save changes again scroll below and then click on edit and then click on test pin make sure it is this 7.0 okay and just click on test pin and it says verified now click on save changes now whenever you get sales in your clickbank account it will show in your click magic account okay that way you can track from which keywords which from which query string you got sales from which device you got sales that thing you can track easily in click man sorry in click magic so this much i wanted to show you sorry in this lecture and one more thing okay one more thing i'll show you here so if you want to see the marketplace then just uh, log into click bank account simply click here and then click on marketplace now from here if you click on here you will see lots of offer that are available on clickbank now you can sort it by gravity just click on here and click on gravity and now you can simply click on promote and click on generate hope links and this is your affiliate link now once you use this affiliate link and get sales in uh, clickbank 
but there is a process that you need to follow before and click magic and i'll show you that also then uh, all of your sales will be tracked in the click magic okay so let's not complicate this too much so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture take care have a great day bye bye in this lecture we'll understand about sales letter and video sales letter before promoting clickbank offers in microsoft ad you need to have a proper understanding on sales letter and video sales letter so as you can see in my screen it is a sales letter that was written by the wall street journal and it have made over two billion dollar by selling their journal so this kind of sales letter are actually written in a specific format where excitement is included emotional stuffs are included stories are included in a particular format to bring sales so these are a kind of salesman which keeps on selling to the people who comes to read this sales letter so it was about the past okay nowadays if you see in clickbank you can see various video sales letter now this video sales letter have also already generate generated thousands of dollar millions of dollar okay these are proven sales video sales letters now these video sales letters are also designed in designed in a specific way so it can sell to anyone who comes to watch this kind of video sales letter so as you can see when a video sales letter loads you will not see any button to purchase anything uh, the intention of video sales letter is to make people watch this video as long as possible so that they can show what exact problem the person who is watching this video have and how they can get a solid solution to solve that problem and when they have explained everything and the person who is watching is already willing to buy then they will show the bottom at here and most case it is a successful strategy to show a video sales letter to like uh, 15 20 or half hour for the people who are watching this kind of video sales letter so for example what we are going to do is uh, so this is a uh, okinawa flat belly turning now this helps people to lose their belly fat so now those people who are looking for a solution in microsoft ad to lose their belly fat we can target those people and bring those people to watch this video by telling them uh, this engine's japanese tonic will help them to lose their belly fat they'll come and they will see there is no any product and services they'll watch this video okay they'll watch this video this video will explain everything about their problem and then in a beautiful way they will also suggest the solution and when they are keep watching it for a longer period of time then they are already sold and when the bottom appear here after uh, maybe 15 minute 20 minute or half hour and they will click on that button and purchase okay in that way your sales is going to come in your click bank okay so don't need to complicate it complicate these things we just need to promote these kind of video sales later in microsoft ad by targeting the people who have a specific problem and wants a solid solution okay that much is the thing that we need to do and there will be lots of sales coming in your way so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture and one thing uh, if you want to write good ads if you want to uh, figure out which video sales letter you need to um, promote then build a habit of reading this kind of old sales letter you can see best sales letter ever written just type best sales letter ever written in google and you can read this you can read this it is an awesome uh, sales letter from past and you'll have a proper idea on what type of video sales letter you will have to promote so basically uh, all of these video sales letter are targeting a specific person a specific customer avatar so as you can see in okinawa flat belly turning the main target is for those people who want to lose their belly fat now in 
case of uh, other product uh, like let's say in java bond it is targeted for people those those people who it is targeted for those people who wants to lose their weight uh, by drinking coffee or mixing something in coffee and drinking that coffee okay in that type of people they are targeting from this java bond and you can target those people how to uh, lose weight by drinking coffee or that kind of source term you can target in microsoft ad it is as simple as that now in case of okinawa flat belly fat, best way to lose belly fat remedy for belly fat solutions for belly fat you can target those kind of keywords in microsoft ads in a specific way and bring sales to your offer we'll do all this stuff uh, in upcoming lecture so this much i wanted to show you and please do build a habit of reading this kind of sales letter it will only make you better and better day after day so thank you so much for watching this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day and bye bye okay friends so in this lecture we are going to understand about the mass type that we are going to use in our microsoft ad so for example let's say i have four keywords then you can see this side that is called keyword mass type tool i'll give a button below you can click on it and visit to this side and you can put your keyword once you have finished your keyword research then your keyword will look like this okay and then just paste those keywords at here and click on exact match tick mark on exact match here and click on make keyword list and then two bracket will be added one in the starting one in the end of each keyword now this is called exact match keyword so now in order to show your ads on bing.com people must search for product to bond belly fat or close variant of this source term if people type products to bond belly fat then only your ad will be shown to them and when they will see your ad after typing this in bing.com then uh, they will click on that ad and visit to your video sales letter that you have brought from clickbank so let's say for example let me copy this search term for now and let me go in bing.com so now let me type it and hit enter so now your ad will be shown at here okay people will come and type products to bond belly fat now if someone types extremely close variant of this source term then also your ad will be shown uh, maybe it can be best product to bond belly fat and if you are targeting in united states then if for a person type types usa best product to bond belly fat in usa then also your ad will be shown because it is a close variant to this keyword so the, everything works in this way okay so we are only going to use exact match keyword in our ad now in our next lecture we'll do keyword research so i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends in this lecture we'll learn how to do keyword research so as we already know that okinawa flat belly tonic is for people who wants to lose their belly fat now you just simply visit to bing.com and then type belly fat now you'll see some suggested term at here now one thing that we can target one keyword that we can target is belly fat diet simply copy it okay and from here and make a text document and write belly fat diet now similarly let's delete this diet and type based here then you can see here best belly fat reducer so this also may be our potential target so let's copy it and paste it at here similarly uh, let's search for belly fat and then solution maybe solution this can be our another target so let's simply change the name 
similarly belly fat removal can be a target reduction can be a target okay you can simply search for this type of uh, one source term and just save it in this way so as you can see here i have 10 i have already made 10 different list of keywords and if you click on here there are lots of keywords inside this okay but firstly i came with this home remedy for belly fat the way i came belly fat diet for belly fat diet belly fat solution okay in same way i came for i sourced for home remedy for belly fat and then i went to microsoft ads and clicked on this tools and clicked on this keyword planner and then let's say for belly fat diet right let me copy this belly fat diet and now click on search for new keywords at here now paste this belly fat diet here and make sure the location is your targeted location in our case it would be united states and all search network bing and yahoo so this doesn't matter and just click on get suggestion so now we are getting lots of suggestion now simply click on keyword suggestions okay so now here you can see best diet for belly fat you can copy it okay and just click on here and paste it at here now save it now let's see diet to lose belly fat this can also be so every month we search it doesn't matter to us okay just bring the all the keywords that are most likely to bring off sales diet plans for belly fat loss so i think it is about plan not for uh, some tonic so let's not use that diet to lose belly fat a good diet for belly fat best diet plan for belly fat you can use that or you can see more relevant keyword what's the best diet for belly fat okay so someone is trying to know what's the best diet for belly fat simply copy it and you can just keep on doing keyword research in this way okay firstly no matter if there are 50 keywords that doesn't uh, matter you can simply keep on searching keep on searching now let's say uh, for example you have got here 10 good keywords okay and just copy that all those keywords and again go here and delete everything from there and click paste and click on get suggestion and you'll get more suggestion for new keyword keep on doing this for a while you can use 10 keyword 20 keyword 30 keyword 40 keyword that's up to you it doesn't matter okay diet to eliminate belly fat you can if you may like this keyword you just put it so this this type of keyword may bring sales for us right because people are looking to eliminate their belly fat with a diet similarly uh okay so let's say our keyword research is finished here now let's click on save and let's see for belly fat solutions right let me copy it let's copy belly fat solution and open this now paste here belly fat solution click on get suggestions let's wait for some time okay so it is taking too much time let me reload it okay let's click on source for new keyword put belly fat solution here and click on get suggestions it is as simple as this okay just go to keyword suggestion and see get rid of my belly fat okay this can be a potential source term what what gets rid of belly fat naturally that you can put how to get rid rid of belly fat lose stop bond belly fat right you can simply copy here 
and paste all, everything at here and uh, if you remember i have told you to visit to keyword mass type tool and paste all of your keyword here and click on exact match and make keyword list in this way okay and you are done so you need to do this keyword research so for now let's delete all thing that we have recently done because i have already did this look at here how much keyword i have extracted from keyword planner in some there are only one it's up to you it's your choice how much keyword you want to put the more you can keep the more it is better so as you can see the source term is natural remedy for belly fat and in every uh, this keyword there is term naturally right naturally in every source term there is natural remedy or naturally okay similarly in belly fat diet plan you can see here fat diet plan in supplement supplement for belly fat in case of what to take something for belly fat something to take for belly fat products to reduce belly fat you never know from which keyword you are going to get sales so that's why the more category you can make and the more keyword you can put the more better it is so do this keyword research and this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends now in this lecture we'll set up our tracking link that we are going to use in our microsoft ads so firstly log into your click magic and then go to your click bank account and then click on marketplace and then let's search it search for our offer so let's rank it by gravity scroll below here's okinawa flat belly tonic simply click on promote and click on generate hope link and copy this link this is your affiliate link now let's go to click magic and click on this links and click on this add new link and give this link name Okinawa and then put the link that we copied from click clickbank at here and then click on this range icon click on this add affiliate click id parameter and click on this clickbank affiliate so our token is added so that everything can be tracked in this click magic so now you can simply click on create link so a link is created now now you can simply click on here and this is the link that you need to put in the tracking template of microsoft ads which i will show you in upcoming lecture but for now just copy this okay just copy this and let's put it at here so this is the link that we copied from click magic and here you can see these are the tokens okay so these tokens you should add add from here sorry 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 let me copy it first yeah, you can copy it and then put this at here okay so this was the link that we brought from click magic let's see again from here up to Z. okay this was the link that we brought from click magic and this is the parameter token that we added now this token will track keyword which keyword brought clicks which keyword brought broad sales similarly this keyword will track which keyword sorry which this query string it is query string and it will track what source term brought us sales or clicks okay similarly this will track ad group which ad group brought clicks and sales and this ad id means which exact ad brought us sales or click that it will track okay so we need this link and i'll give this token in the below this video 
this lecture you can copy it and just save it in notepad so that you can use it like in future so if you are a little bit confused please rewind this video and watch it again okay so this link is important so i'm saving it for now and uh yeah this much for this lecture now from next lecture we'll start to launch our campaign on microsoft ads so i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day bye bye okay friends now from here we'll start to create our ad to create a ad on microsoft ad simply click on this campaigns and then click on create campaign now simply click on visit to my website and then give this campaign a name so let's put it okinawa and put the budget of hundred dollar per day so then don't get confused that you are not going to spend all hundred dollar okay so you at least put this much budget so that your ad will be shown to most people who are searching on bing now the targeted target location always uh, select do select always united states okay because you can get good amount of sales and conversion from united states and uncheck this so whatever i am doing just follow those things no matter which campaign you are running now once you did this much then simply click on save and go to next step now we will do i mean we'll set up these ad groups and keyword in our next lecture so thank you so much for watching this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends now in this lecture we'll set up our ad groups and keyword if you remember previously we have already done our keyword research now what you need to do is simply copy this name uh one keyword home remedy for belly fat and go to here and paste that name at here so this will be our ad group name and then double click on here and let's copy all these keywords these all are exact match keyword okay and paste it at here so now we have made one ad group now again simply scroll below and click on add new ad group So ignore these things okay now again let's go and copy this name and let's make this ad group and then let's paste all the keywords that's inside that's inside this ad group let's paste it paste it so this is also done this is the simple thing that we need to do here okay let me cross it now again let's copy this let's go here and paste it let's open it let's copy it and then paste it at here similarly another ad group in this way you can create how how much ad group you want to create you can create it in this simple way so okay i'm going to create all the ad groups at here you can fast forward this okay if you are feeling boring you can fast forward it We'll keep doing this we have pasted six ad groups 
now it's time for our seventh ad group copy double click paste it at here and then this was the ad group let's copy it so let's paste it let's paste it now again let's open these keywords copy paste add new ad group rename copy and then paste it at here what is it if it is yeah let's open this and copy it paste this click on add new ad group <clears throat> okay so now this is the last one let's put this name and then let's open it and copy everything from here and paste it at here so now we have created all together 10 ad group as you can see here so you can see there are several suggestions that is appearing at here i would suggest you to don't touch it okay do manual keyword research the way i have taught in previous lectures so once you do this did this much then simply go below and click and click on save and go to the next step now we'll need to create ad which we'll do in our next lecture i'll see you in that lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends now in this lecture will create our ad but before creating our ad we need to copy the tracking link that we have got from click magic you can copy it all and then let's open another tab and paste it at here and hit enter so we need a final url okay so as you can see here is a question mark if there's no any question mark then you can simply copy this much okay from https to dot com but if there is a question mark please do copy all the link okay from your question mark to this https simply copy it now simply go here and click on create add and then click on here and click on expanded text add okay and in this final url section paste that url that we just copied and in below you can see mobile url just paste it at here okay do this much thing first so now next thing you need to do is again copy this tracking link and click on this add url options and click on this tracking template and paste it at here this link this tracking link okay so now what happens is whenever someone sees your ad and click on it they will not click on this link okay they will be clicking on this tracking link and everything will be recorded in your click magic so once you did this much now it's time for us to put title part one title part two and i generally don't use title part three but if you want you can i would suggest you don't use this title part three only put two titles now i have made some ad copy already so as you can see in title part two i have made drink this tonic daily for title part two now why i made this is because it is a ancient japanese tonic that helps people to lose their weight and lose their belly fat that's why i have wrote this drink this tonic daily if you when you watch this video you will come up with several ideas to make ad don't complicate this process make it extremely simple okay so title part two is drink this tonic daily so now this was our first ad group right home remedy for belly fat so 
let's copy it home remedy for belly fat and this will be our title part one home remedy for make everything capital okay okay now does it make sense home remedy for belly fat drink this tonic daily it does make sense and it may make people interested to click on this ad and watch the video so now let's ignore title part three if you want to put you can put 2021 or you may put usa whatever you like but i would not use anything like that i, I always use title part one and title part two only now we need to put add text one that will appear at here so now in add text one uh, it is same thing okay you need to watch this video and come up with some idea don't overthink these things so i have come up with a simple add text which says this natural and safe tonic is helping many people to lose their belly fat in a simple way so this thing is uh, told in this video this video sells later okay that's why i modified it a little bit and wrote this similarly in add text to okay, anyone can melt their fat by drinking this tonic daily okay so as you can see this is a tonic that people need to drink daily uh, i also came to know about this by watching this video sales letter as you, as you can see drink daily before 10 a.m it is written here also so it is as simple as this much to create ad okay no matter how much you think if people don't click on your ad then that doesn't matter so keep it simple so once you do this much and put your tracking link at here and just click on test so it says landing page found so everything is fine here right and it's all okay so now here here you what you can do is you can write usa if you want okay or maybe you are promoting a video sales letter you can write video here it is your choice okay so let's put usa here or maybe you can put united states it's the thing that you can play with united states okay it seems good okay so once you do this much now your one ad is ready let's click on save okay so now don't only make one ad okay make at least two ad so simply click on here in this drop down arrow and click on copy ad it will be copied at here and click on edit edit so now we'll change nothing here only title part one will change so now how we'll change title part one is let's go to our keyword and see which would be a good fit best remedy for belly fat can be a good so this one is so here is some mistake i think here is belly fat home remedy okay we can use belly fat home remedy it is a broad match keyword i think we have used broad match keyword mistakenly uh, inside our campaign but we can rectify it so belly fat home remedy this can be a good candidate okay here yeah. home remedy for belly fat belly fat for belly fat home remedy belly fat home remedy we can make it drink this tonic daily so this makes sense and if it doesn't make sense simply select any and other remedies for belly fat or anything other you can select and put it in your title part one and click on save so once you did this much then now simply copy this ad copy to all other ad groups okay and all other ad group will have this ad let's click on this copy to all other ad group and same thing we can do here click on this drop down and click on copy to all other ad group so now in case of mm, second it is best belly fat supplement right we can copy it click on edit and we can simply change this best 
belly fat supplement drawing test tonic daily so it's good let's click on save so we only have one keyword at here so simply click on edit and what we can do is in place of best we can write top belly fat supplement change something so that people may maybe people don't like best belly fat supplement word and they may like top belly fat supplement and they may click on your ad okay for that purpose simply click on save so same thing you can do at your belly weight loss diet so simply click on your edit paste it right belly weight loss diet and drink this tonic daily simply click on save same thing we have only one keyword at here simply click on edit paste it and write best at beginning best belly weight in this way you can keep on editing now you can again forward this uh, lecture and reach to the end because i am going to do everything at here in I'm, I'm i'm i mean i'm going to repeat this process so in again in fourth we have natural remedy for belly fat right Just click on it paste it at here natural remedy for belly fat copy it and let's click on save and again let's click on edit here and write best okay now you can write has one natural okay so it is not a natural remedy okay it is not allowing us so what we can do is um, natural remedy for belly fat so what we can do is one we can write one number one natural remedy for belly fat drink this tonic daily it makes sense let's click on save similarly diet to burn diets to burn or diet to burn belly fat let's click on edit here paste it best diet sorry <laughs> d diet to born belly fat let's copy it Let's click on save you can forward this lecture okay if you are feeling boring you can do that best diet to born belly fats let's click on save now as you can supplement to help lose belly fat supplement supplement to lose belly fat so this may, makes sense belly fat it is as simple as these things okay you can I practice this thing and it will be extremely simple for you to do not complicate any process okay keep it simple supplement, supplement to lose belly fat let's edit paste it at here as one well. so it is not allowing one supplement to lose belly fat you can do this and save similarly something to take for belly fat edit something to take for belly fat or what you can do is what can you take for belly? or take this so 
so let's see at a uh, seven what to take to lose belly fat you can keep it what to take to lose belly fat what to take to lose belly fat okay so i think it will not match in another let's so let's click on save and see another tom here what to what to use to lose belly fat okay we can put this let's click on save okay okay so now i want to show you one more thing is small to capital text online so i just forgot you know in the idea of making ad i just forgot about this tool okay uh, so now we need to uh, edit this one right product best product to reduce belly fat and it is something like that copy it bring it here capitalize it mm, it is far more easy right let's click on edit paste it here and you can it didn't work so on and you can put has one product to reduce belly fat let's copy it let's click on save Let's paste it at here. You can write bond belly fat has one product to bond, or maybe if best product to bond belly fat. You can do these things. So now we are in number nine. They have written okay, so we need to watch here belly fat pills okay what we are going to do is belly fat pills because it is not a pill so that's why we need to use a little bit brain here belly fat pills alternative <clears throat> okay so let's edit it belly fat pills alternative drink this to tonic daily let's click on save let's edit it and paste it here type paste belly fat as one belly fat pill pills alternative drink this tonic daily okay so this makes sense right let's click on save so when you keep on launching lots of ad you will have a proper idea on how to play with these things so if you are overwhelmed please don't worry so uh, here you can see here is one tom belly fat reduction uh, let's see the best way to lose belly fat this will make good sense let's go here and paste it and capitalized let's copy it come here click on edit the best way to lose belly fat drink this tonic daily that makes a lot of sense let's click on save click on here and again paste here input has one best way to lose belly fat drink this tonic daily
okay so that's great so our ad is ad section is done now we'll do uh, now and below there are other things that we'll talk about in our this lecture not in next lecture okay so this is ad extension site ad extension the but uh, what you need to do is you don't need to use any kind of extension because the way we are uh, trying to promote our video sales letter in Microsoft ad is to get sales and we are not going to bid crazy high amount of amount in key keywords that's why we don't need these kind of extensions however you can use this call out extension if you want like um, top quality ingredients whatever the things that have been told in here you can simply put those few words in this way but let's not put it let's uh, we have already created our ad so now there is nothing we can do at here so simply click on save and go to the next step now we'll talk about these things in our next lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends now in this lecture we'll finish the final step of our ad creation process so this is our body budget and just leave it bid strategy in ncpc and here you can see ad group bid it is showing one dollar and here you are you can see estimated clicks per month so this is not accurate okay so don't worry and um, don't bid one dollar in this ad group i would suggest you to bid 0.82 so in mostly in weight loss product i start with this speed 0.82 okay you can be 0.83 also it's your choice and you'll pay anywhere from 0.72 one dollar if you beat 0.82 and 0.83 okay so that means we are willing to pay like one dollar per click and if you get sales then it would be of $60 okay so once you did this much then that's fine here so this bidding is uh, about experience okay what type of offer you are promoting and how much clicks you get when you start to get experience by launching several campaigns, then you'll have proper understanding but if you are promoting weight loss product I think this bid is good to go with so once you do this much then click on campaign targets okay so here is some crucial thing turn off this tablet and decrease by okay both decrease by 90 percent just do it we are not interested in promoting our offer in tablet and smartphone we will only promote our offer in desktop because here in desktop we are going to get the maximum conversion we will get conversion in smartphone and tablet also but that will be too low okay so do, do this much and then click on edit target target categories just click on here and click on age and gender now scroll below and turn off this 18 to 24 decrease it by 90 percent and this okinawa flat belly tonic is targeted for male and female also but if, when you watch this video you'll understand most likely the women are going to buy this product okay so you can decrease this male by 90 percent okay so this will be fine okay you need to use our your own common sense to uh, make these changes but this is compulsory always decrease the bid of tablet and smartphone if you didn't decrease then you will be only overspending your budget that's for sure now another thing is click on advanced campaign settings scroll below so everything is fine and click on add distribution and click on bing aol and yahoo search own and operated only we are going to 
promote our video sales letter only on this network that is owned by Bing, AOL and Yahoo okay now if you click on this multimedia ads you cannot decrease this but I'll show you how to turn this off and you should turn this off because it is a waste of money according to my experience so I'll teach you how to turn this off in an easy way in upcoming lecture don't worry about that so now once you did this much then everything is done and you are good to go now you can simply click on save so now you have successfully launched your campaign now you need to wait for 24 hours uh, maybe it can approve your ad uh, before that but you may need to wait from 24 to 48 hours so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day bye bye okay friends in this lecture we'll remove the mistake that we have done previously in keywords we have unknowingly targeted broad match keywords so before making any edit on your campaign always come to this campaigns and turn off your campaign this pause okay and then only edit because if you don't pause and directly edit it it will go for review for next 24 hours but if you pause it and re do review then your ad may be approved in short period of time okay so simply click on here and then let's go to keywords so now here you can see all exact match are there now let's click on your match type and you can see there are lots of broad keyword this is broad match type okay we are not going to target this broad match keyword it is up to here so let's select all of these broad match Let's select every pro match keyword these are also a duplicate keyword i don't know how that came in uh, my notepad but you do check when you are putting keywords in your ad group okay and if you made this mistake you can simply select all of these and click on edit and delete these keywords click on ok so now all these pro match keyword are gone okay so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day Ed. bye bye okay friends now in this lecture we'll learn to turn off multimedia ads first is just go to all campaigns and then click on settings and then in account label options and scroll below you will see this kind of tick mark at here auto apply recommendation you can simply uncheck here and click on save so now your multimedia um, ad will be not shown in your campaign even if multimedia ad is showing in while you are making campaign then also it will be not shown in multimedia okay so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day Ed. bye bye okay friends in this lecture we'll learn to turn off automated extensions so what i'm showing you like turn off multimedia ads turn off automated extension please do that okay it is and it is necessary to do this because if you didn't do that then you will be spending on things that you have no any idea okay 
and you'll only over spend your budget because of these things so uh, to turn off this automated extensions simply again go to all campaign firstly and then in ads and extension just click on here and then click on automated extensions and then click on manage automated extensions and click on opt out of a specific automated extension if you want to learn about these automated extension then you can read it read their help articles here you'll understand simply check all these and then click on automated extensions not preferred okay once you do this much and click on save so now once you do this much then whatever ad you make only those things will be shown there will be no additional headline there will be no anything additional that microsoft ad will think and put in your ad okay the ad that you have made while creating campaign will only be shown if you turn off this all automated extension and please do turn off that multimedia also so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends now all the editing has been done in this microsoft ad now simply let's go to campaigns and turn this campaign on and once you do this much then your campaign is live now as soon as it is approved by microsoft ad and you will start to receive impressions and clicks and you'll see average cost per click at year how much you have spent at year and click through rate so ctr click through rate simply means if you get 100 impression and you get five clicks that is five percent ctr click through rate so you'll see everything at year and uh, in click magic as you can see you have all you're already seeing one click at year so uh, if you have got any sales then you'll see the dollar at here and if you click on this links then you can see here just click on this then okay sorry sorry not there just click on this you you see unique click okay and scroll below and this was um, so we have clicked this because we have pasted this click magic link in our browser that's why it is showing here so uh, let's just over your mouse at here this eye icon and you'll see in sub id 1 you will see keyword in sub id 2 you will see query string in sub id 3 you'll see ad group in sub id 4 you'll see ad id so if maybe someone have typed how to lose belly fat okay then that will be shown at here in sub id 2 okay and the keyword that have triggered your ad will be shown at so maybe best way to lose belly fat have triggered your ad to appear in bing then it will be shown here and if you got sales from this query stringer keyword you would know it clearly okay so we'll see these things in our upcoming lecture too but for now this much i wanted to show you so i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day ahead. bye bye okay friends so now our ad is already approved and we have received 12 clicks we have spent total amount of ten dollar and 10.61 and average cost per click so we are paying 88 cents for one click and altogether 257 people have watched our ads so now uh, let's go to campaigns and then let's move it and you can see 257 impression 12 click and our click through rate is 4.67 percent our average cpc is 88 cents our total spend is 10.61 dollar it was yesterday i think yeah it was yesterday today i think we have not received any uh, clicks 
yeah we haven't received any clicks today uh it was the data from yesterday so yesterday our campaign was approved and we received this clicks and impressions now let's go to click magic so as you can see here 12 total clicks you can see here 12 total clicks and now uh, you can simply click on links now we'll learn to read the data that is in this click magic so as you can see there is a total click so this means the total click that you have received and this fc means flag click if you click on here so these clicks are from microsoft and this cube focus i think someone tried to spy our ads that's why it was flagged this was boot microsoft uh, it was from microsoft ad okay and it was from some maybe from some random people from which country is this germany so you can see uc uc means unique click and once you click on here and if you remember yesterday we have made one click and here is that here is the record of that as you can see here my country name now if you click on here so if you over your mouse here then you will see in sub id 1 you will see keyword in sub id 2 query string the thing that people typed to see our ad and in sub id 3 there is ad group and in sub id 4 there is ad id now this is a click that came from um, yahoo.com okay so now once you over your mouse here then you will see this is the keyword that triggered our ad drink sorry diet to shrink belly fat and then in sub id there is query string this is the exact source term that people typed on bing.com foods shrink belly fat and that and someone typed this source term and this keyword triggered our ad to go in bing and this is the ad group that we created yesterday it was a five number okay and this is the exact ad id that was clicked by the person who typed and saw this now in same way you can see for any of these so once you get sales here then you'll see one or two how much sales you will get you can simply come here and click in this way okay and over your mouse in that i icon in there and then you will see keyword query string and the ad group okay everything you will be able to see uh, so let's see for now let's see this was the keyword right uh, let's copy it let's copy it and let's go to microsoft ads and click on camping this okinawa And let's click on keywords and then you can type control F and paste that keyword at here and remove these plus signs and copy this again so it is not showing at here a keyword is not showing maybe it is a little bit down it is in a little bit down so let's make it go to next here and again do control f and paste it so it is not showing okay if this doesn't work just in this keyword text just type that okay and click on this new icon now see this is the keyword okay this is the keyword diet to shrink belly fat so this keyword brought us click as you can see it got four impression and one click right now let's see another data this was the source term okay you can if you got sales from this source term you can um, save this source term so that you can make add another ad in upcoming days by targeting this query string and this was the ad group right it was five number ad group so what we can do is now 
go to sorry go to camping and then click on this camping and then here you can see the ad groups so this was the ad group that brought us click okay now similarly now similarly uh this was the ad id that brought brought us this click right now let's copy this let's go here and click on this ads and extension and then just scroll it a little bit here and you can see there is no any ad id written at here so what you need to do is you can simply click on these columns and click on modify columns and okay it says add id is added so let's remove it once and again add this add id so add id will be in last so let's tick mark this and click on apply no no don't need to tick mark just apply and you'll see now there are add id showing now you can click on this add filter oh, oh sorry sorry not add filter you can simply do is control f and paste that add id okay in here and you'll see this was the ad that brought us click okay, this ad received total 31 impression 31 people saw this ad and two people decided to click on this ad okay in this way you can read the data from your click magic in microsoft ad so once you get sales all the data will be at here okay you simply need to click on here and then you can simply over your mouse at there and see this all data so one more thing now uh, what you need to know let's say if you run a campaign and you didn't get any sales then you don't need to worry okay just follow the exact same process and launch another campaign now the amount uh, you should spend on one campaign is you need to decide it in this way okay let's say uh, this okinawa flat belly tonic says it it gives us an average conversion of 146 dollar okay now you can use anywhere from 50 to 75 percent of amount total amount you can divide it by uh, let's say uh, if it is 146 then you can spend up to 70 dollar okay but if you see here uh, i have brought one sale in here in this okinawa flat and it paid me 60.69 dollar right so that means uh, you can spend anywhere between 50 percent amount of this total average conversion value okay so if it is 146 you can spend up to 70 dollar for one campaign and after you spend 70 dollar then you don't you, if you didn't get any conversion then you can simply kill this campaign and launch another campaign okay because uh, you need to get at least one two sales regularly otherwise there's no meaning to keep on running these ads okay so but now for now i have only spent ten dollar here so i can still spend uh, 40 to 50 dollar in this ad and see if i can get sales or not okay and if i didn't get then it's simple you can go to campaign and simply pause this or just select it and delete this campaign but i would suggest you to just pause this campaign okay if you didn't get any sales and then again follow the same process and choose another offer from clickbank and start to promote it so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture take care have a great day bye bye okay friends in this lecture we'll learn to add negative keywords as you can see we have got some clicks and now let's click on here and then let's go to this sorry this icon and see there is this term foods if people are searching foods 
lose their belly fat then they are not our targeted customer okay so let's put these foods at here so that whenever uh, we'll put this in negative keyword list so that whenever again people type about food to lose belly fat then our ad will be not shown to them that will save our spending okay similarly uh, okay so this is good this is also good let's see another there is again food okay ways okay that's fine that's fine so let's see if there is any other thing that, yeah exercise yeah if someone is searching for exercise they are not going to buy our product so let's copy this exercise also and put it at here so let's make it small okay let's see if there is anything other here you can see there is foods here you can copy it so we have already typed that now what we can do is copy it and make it food here and here in exercise we can maybe if there is plural of exercises people may type this and put it in this kind of okay so this is phrase match okay or what you can do is uh, keyword match type tool just go in keyword match type tool remove this if you have lots of keyword here then it will be hard for you to put that so just paste it at here and make it phrase match okay and just copy it let's copy it and then go to microsoft ads account so this is the campaign where we need to put this negative keywords so let's click on it dismiss it first and then go to keywords okay and then go to negative keywords and then in select this campaign okay always this campaign should be selected so that it will be applied to all campaign not in just a single ad group it will be applied to all campaign and then click on add negative keywords and then paste this at here now whenever people type exercise exercises foods food then our ad will be not shown to them because those people who are searching for some food to eat they are not going to buy our uh, product or some if someone is looking for some kind of exercise to lose belly fat then they are not interested in buying our product so if you uh, keep on seeing those kind of search term in uh, click magic just save it in notepad and make a list and bring it here and paste it okay so simply click on save now now you are done so always put negative keyword in phrase match so that uh, people may type other thing also included in this food and our ad will be not shown to them okay that's why it is important to put it in phrase match always put negative keyword in phrase match be very clear about that okay so this much i wanted to show you in this lecture i'll see you in next lecture take care have a great day bye bye okay guys so now whatever you have learned in this course till now after learning this much you can launch any campaign to promote any clickbank offer in microsoft ads now if you didn't get any conversion then it is simple okay you can just simply pause this campaign and delete it or just pause it and keep it but what if you got conversion let's say you are promoting this offer in united states and you got good amount of conversion now you may uh, like to promote this exact offer in united kingdom canada and other countries okay if you want to do that then there is a simple way you don't need to uh, repeat all the process that you have gone through till now okay there is one simple process that you can do simply click on this and then click on edit this is campaign okay in campaign where just click on it and click on edit and then click on copy okay and then deselect it and go to this and click on it and there is a option called paste okay 
simply click on paste and then click on pause new campaigns after pasting and then click on paste now we are duplicating this campaign in order to target another country so there you can see now firstly you can change the name of this campaign okay it is paused click on here and change it to where you want to target uk ca canada australia okay whichever country you want to target you can write it here so that you can remember which country you are targeting in this campaign okay you can target one country or two three country but in case of united states the only target united states only okay and then if you want to um, target to other countries then you can target it at in this way okay just click on save uk caau now let's go inside this campaign and then go to locations now see there is united states only been targeted now what you can do is you can simply click on add location and then remove this united states from here and write canada search target united kingdom search target and australia target it is as simple as this okay guys uh, there are three countries now targeted now just uh, it's okay this should be tick marked and click on done okay so um, now you can click on save let's wait for some time okay so you can see australia canada and united kingdom now you have you are targeting these three countries okay so and then what you can do is go to all campaigns go to campaign and simply turn this on okay guys so now um just firstly launch one campaign okay to promote one clickbank offer and then add negative keywords to that campaign and then quickly launch other campaign okay and those campaign which are not giving you sales simply turn those off okay and those who are which are giving you sales in clickbank just keep on running them so it is as simple as that to keep on continuing okay so now we are nearly in the end of this course. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.